Apple made the biggest change to the App Store search algorithm last month and didn't tell anyone, and it's very likely that your app was affected. I dove into our data, reverse engineered the change, and I'm happy to say I know what's going on and it's big. In this video, I'm going to share what I discovered and six practical tips that you should implement right away to take advantage of this new change and rank higher in the App Store. I'm Ariel from AppFigures, and I've helped thousands of apps grow by analyzing what makes them rank. I share it all here so you can do the same. Up until now, only the app's name, subtitle, and keyword list counted towards search rankings. But after looking at apps that gain ranks, apps that lost ranks, and their competitors, all using our app figures tools and some custom AI I made, the pattern became very, very clear. Apps with keywords and their screenshots moved up. Apps without them dropped. Apple is now using AI to read the text from screenshots and using those as a factor in search rank. This is a big change from Apple, one I've been waiting on for such a long time and a huge opportunity to get more discovery. So clearly, you need to use keywords in your screenshots, and here are my six tips to help you do it right. The first one is replace passive keywords with active ones. By passive, I mean words that don't have any intent and no one is searching for, like easy to use. Replace those with the same type of keywords you'd put in your app's name, subtitle, or keyword list, full of intent and actionable. Number two, make sure there's enough contrast between your text and background. I looked at so many screenshots that don't do this right. Light text on a light background or dark text on a dark background makes it really hard for the machine and also for people to read. Instead, aim for as much contrast as you can so the words jump out. Number three is to use fonts that are legible and easy to read. Fonts that are too thin or condensed or stylized make it really hard for the machine to see and could be ignored and we don't want that. Number four is ensure your captions are big enough to read. If your text is large enough for a human eye to read, it's probably okay for the machine, but if it isn't, Apple won't be able to see it and that's a problem. And number five, stay away from layered text or heavy shadows. Those make it really hard for the machine to extract text from an image. It's just a machine. Subtle shadow is probably okay, but glowing neon outlines and fuzzy blurred shadows really reduce accuracy. And the last one, number six, is a really important one. Don't use too many keywords in one screenshot. I know it's tempting to stuff as many keywords as possible because there's just a lot of space. But just like the name and the subtitle, the more you focus, the more weight each keyword has, and you want that. Now that you know how to set up your screenshots, let's talk a little bit more about which keywords to use. Start by using your most important keywords from the name and subtitle. Keywords from screenshots aren't considered duplication, and repeating your most important keywords in the screenshot actually gives them more weight. You want to duplicate keywords, which might sound strange coming from me, but I checked it many, many, many times, and I am sure that's the case. Then use keywords that extend the keywords you're already using in the name, subtitle, and keyword list, just how you would do with everything else. I have a trick for doing this a little bit more quickly, and if you've been following me for a long enough time, you know what I'm gonna say. Look at what the top ranking apps in your category are doing. I'm talking about direct competitors, similar apps, or even adjacent ones. Here's how to do it. Head into Keyword Inspector and search for your main keyword, by now, apps who have the proper captions are already ranking high, so that's perfect. Click on the top result to see its screenshots in the App Intelligence panel. And you should do that probably three, four, five times just to get a better understanding of what's going on. And as you look at them, keep track of which keywords they're including, where those keywords are, and how they relate to the app. You don't need to do it more than four or five times and you will get an idea of what's going on. Take that and apply that to your keywords and your app and boom, you're on your way to greatness. But there's an even faster way to do it, and here's kind of a trick. From Keyword Inspector, select the top five results and view them in App Intelligence. Then switch to the Creatives tab, which will show all of them at once, and you can identify all the changes faster. That's how I would do it. This change is massive, and it's not something you want to ignore or guess your way through. And if you do that, you're probably not gonna see as many downloads as you'd like. But keep in mind that screenshots aren't just good for the algorithm, they're also critical for turning views into download. So make sure to balance keywords and design. And one last thing, just getting the download is nice, but now where it ends. Watch these expert tips to turn those new downloads into paying users.